Hey guys, Steve Petrato here again from Blade. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between the 350QX and the 350QX2 that's shipping now with the AP combo and also shipping with the standard set. You're going to notice a lot of differences out of the box and I wanted to make this video to show you guys those things. The first thing you're going to notice is that we went to a DX4 radio. Now this isn't to cheapen up the radio or make it less expensive, but we wanted to provide a better experience to you as a user for the product. You'll notice it doesn't have any trims for the aileron, throttle, rudder, elevator. It has no trims. You can't bump those around having a hard time start the model. We also didn't want to use those anymore for stopping the motors as before you had to lower the throttle trim all the way down to stop the motors and then raise it back up to the center in order to start it again. So we've went ahead and designed the bind button on this radio to go ahead and kill the motors just like our larger radios like the DX6 and the DX9 can do. You'll notice there's a three position flight mode switch so that's going to give you your smart mode, stability mode, and AP mode. And also you'll have a return to home switch here. Uh, no more holding and pulling the trainer switch and keeping that pilled in to do the return home. Now you'll just flip the button, it's labeled arm and home, flip it to home and the model will go into return home mode. The next thing you'll notice is that we'll have the 3000 milliamp 3S battery. The existing model had a 2200 milliamp battery, so this is going to give you a little more flight time. Now we had, a, we had to go and change the uh, battery tray inside the model in order to accommodate this battery, but now you can fly both the 2200 packs that you have and also the 3000 packs that we'll have for this model. And this is the new charger. This one also ships with the AP combo. Now when you pull the 350QX2 out of the box, You'll notice pretty much that it looks the same. We've changed the logo up top so it says 350QX2. We've also gone ahead and made some minor body changes. The rear vents are a little larger in the arms. Mainly that was to accommodate the GPS sensor. And also that we have also changed the bottom, the bottom tray or the bottom plate. Uh, the bottom body now is a flat down here. The old model had a bump out. Uh, and that was just so you could ad adapt another camera onto this. Now it has been cleaned off and giving you a little bit more space to mount video transmitters or whatever you want down here, additional batteries if you really wanted to. Uh, but that space is now cleaned up. As for the flight modes in the 350QX2, it's going to be shipping with firmware 2.0. Now if you're not familiar with what that is, it has smart mode, stability mode, and AP mode. AP mode stands for aerial photography mode. It's going to be a little softer leveling and GPS and altitude lock when you let go of the sticks. Now don't fret, if you still want to fly agility mode, if you're not using a gimbal and you want to fly super fun and have some flips and rolls, then you can, you just can't access it with a stock radio if you buy the ready to fly model. You'll need a DX6i or higher uh, to access that ability of the model. We've made some minor changes to agility mode with firmware 2.0. Uh, and it's, it's going to give you a little bit better yaw control under really hard maneuvers. So you'll find that agility mode is a lot nicer for those of you flying firmware 2.0. While I'm holding the model, you'll notice that the battery hatch is now white. A lot of you asked for this just for orientation purposes in the sky. It's no longer the red hatch, it's going to be a white hatch. As we go ahead and open up the hatch, you'll notice there's a couple differences in the back of the model. Uh, there's a programming lead now, making it easier for you to do uh, firmware updates in the future. Uh, and also, you're going to notice that the GPS is now moved to the rear. So you'll have a GPS sensor in the, in the motor arm, and you're also going to have the receiver for the GPS in the side here uh, for the model. That's just going to give us a little better performance for those of you using GoPro cameras. Uh, and of course, the copper shielding will be included in the box as well. Some of you may be asking, what are the differences between the 350QX2 and the 350QX2 AP combo? Well, the real difference is that the AP combo is just what it sounds like. It comes with a gimbal and comes with the Seago 1 camera, so that's the combo to do aerial photography. This model, of course, just comes with your GoPro mount and adapter plate. However, if you wanted to upgrade the 350QX2 or even your existing 350, you can buy the GB200 2-axis brushless gimbal and even mount your Seago 1 camera to it, or if you want to mount your GoPro, you can get that as well. So if you have an existing 350, and you mount the gimbal to it, you will have pretty much everything you need to make it work. However, if you wanted to access the optional pitch control, you'll need to add a satellite, a DSMX satellite to that. Now, if you have the 350QX2 or the AP combo version, 
you're going to just be able to plug the gimbal in and it works fine because the receiver is upgraded to the new receiver and it has additional channels to support that pitch control. So that's really the main difference between this, the AP combo, and even the exi existing 350QX.